Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So today in this video, I'm going to be working with the little ribbon clamp set that came in the collection. I just want to preface this video by saying I am not that great of a jewelry maker. To be honest, I am learning right along with everyone else. It's something I do enjoy making charms and making little beaded wire wrapped things, but it is by no means something that I do a lot of or that I'm really good at. So all of that to say, I still wanted to make a video showing those of you who haven't played with these things before, just how you can put it together, even though my example isn't that great. So I'm also going to link a video because after I edited this video, I just, sometimes I don't get things in the best angle. And there's a video that I enjoy watching every time I'm going to wire wrap beads because typically I don't do it that often and I kind of forget how to do it <laughs> sometimes. So I will link that video down below as well. It's very helpful and um, short and sweet. So I appreciate that about it. So I'm getting started first with these little ribbon clamps that came in the kit. There are, there's a different size, maybe two different sizes. And um, I'm going to put together a few different ones just to give you examples. Now I didn't include any ribbons in the kit, but this is something that works very well from your scrap bin, things that you have sitting around, little pieces. And that's what I'm doing here with this one. I have this Dollar Tree lace and I have this piece of seam binding and I'm just layering them up. And with these little clamps, all you do is fit it over the center of the end of your ribbon and just clamp it down. I am using a, piece, um, a pair sorry, of needle nose pliers here just to make sure that it's nice and tight in there. I'm going to use this wider one here with a piece of scrap fabric that I had just, you know, in my scrap bin from making the covers. And I'm going to layer some ribbons on top of that. I'm going to make three of these. So I'm starting with the ribbon clamp portion. And then I am going to show you just <laughs> very basic how you can make a little beaded charm as well. So I'm just playing around with some, you know, ribbons here. I picked up these little roses out of my ribbon stash. Also another idea, if you don't have a lot of trims, you could use the fibers that come in the collection. I've seen people use those fibers for tassels and I'm sure they would work great in with your ribbon charms as well. Oh, and I'll also mention, I decided to use some glue on these ribbons because that vine with the leaf, that trim, it's super cute and of course it's great for a gardening journal, but I wanted to make sure that it stayed in place. It was so thin, so I just added a little glue and I think that's a great idea too.
All right, so now getting into the beading part. I just added a few of these pearl beads to the collection for anyone who might want to make a little charm like this. I'm figuring if you have little tools, just your basic wire wrapping tool and that, that whatever that's called, I don't even know. <laughs> but I'm showing here how to bend the head pin to make a loop on the other end after you string your beads. You don't wanna to add too many beads to this because you do, I almost have too much on mine because it was hard for me to wrap at the end. But um, you can follow along here, pause the video as you need to if you don't know how to uh, wire wrap a bead, um, beads. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of keep talking about the process here. Also, don't forget that link will be in the description box down below where a lady is so kindly sharing how to do this specifically in her video. So I'm just wire wrapping this and then I'm going to have two loops on each end of my beads. Now, if you don't want to do this part or you don't have the tools to do it, I did try to include enough little things that you could just add it to the clip um, to the ribbon charm that you made I have a couple garment pins in this set I also have a bulldog clip oh my gosh how many of you always hear me say bull nose clip where did I get that I don't know but my friend Jenny was like Lynette it's a I think it's a bulldog clip and you say that every time <laughs> so anyway bulldog clip that little bulldog clip sitting at the top of my screen yes so this little jump ring I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to add my ribbon charm that I made to the beads with this jump ring All right, and then last minute, I decided that I wanted to add that little flower charm that came in this kit as well. So I'm going to use another jump ring. Now, if I would have thought of this earlier, I probably could have added it to the same jump ring that I added the beads with, but it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to use another jump ring and then add it to the previous jump ring that is already on this charm. And now I'm just grabbing one of those garment pins that came in that kit and so simply that's how you can just finish it off if you want to and then you can clip it to a piece of ruffle or a piece of trim that you add to your journal and voila you have a charm you have a ribbon charm <laughs> so I don't think that I use the lobster clasp I did include a lobster clasp in this kit for anyone who might just want to add it a tassel in some way um, it's just included in the kit here I'm adding another one of those garment pins I'm using a jump ring and see this is where I just don't think very clearly when it comes to making charms and jewelry it's just not something I do very often so I know that's why but you didn't have to add that jump ring you could have just stuck the garment pin into the ribbon cla clasp right clamp it's called a ribbon clamp okay so here I am going to take that biggest charm that I made and I took some chain out of my stash if you are someone who doesn't own any extra chain you could use an old piece of jewelry that you just don't wear anymore um, and clip a piece of chain off of that or you know it's at the it's at the craft store and I just wanted to make this one dangle a little longer when I put it on the bulldog clip so I'm adding another jump ring adding a little link you know a few links of chain and then I'm also going to pull out another larger jump ring that I had in my stash so I can just loop it to the clip 
um, you can here I'm showing you that before I do that and it's not in the kit I wanted you to see that you could use a garment pin and add it to your bulldog clip as well so problem solved there you don't need a larger jump ring you can get creative with that but I am for the sake of this video and for keeping my garment pin <laughs> for my other ribbon I'm going to pull out a larger jump ring here I'm showing you how you don't even need the chain you can just add it with the garment pin and it's perfect too don't even need that chain All right, so now I'm just, you know, adding that last jump ring I was talking about, and then you guys, that is it. I hope for those of you who are just starting out with doing any type of jewelry making or charm making, I hope this was a little helpful in using that ribbon kit that was included in the collection. Don't forget that link for wire wrapping is down below. Otherwise, you guys, that's it. I hope that these ideas were helpful. Don't forget that there are links to the design team members in the description box down below, as well as the Facebook group. I would love to see the ribbon clips that you make. I would love for you to share a photo in the group over there and inspire the rest of us. And my Instagram link is down below as well. So thanks again for taking the time to watch. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.